I feel it. I just feel it in my spirit. And I look at some folks and say, wow, you're about to miss out on the best miracle God can send you right now. God is about to do something great. Amen. So we're ready to go straight into the word of God, but let us pray. Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you, God, for loving us in spite of ourselves. We thank you, God, for encouraging us when we feel like we just cannot make it no more. We thank you, God, for pushing us. We thank you, God, for your presence. We thank you, God, for everything that is and going to be done in our lives. God, as I stand before your throne, I ask that you hide me behind the cross. No glory shall be given unto me, but I need you to send a raiment word to your people. Edify them, God. Send a raiment word to your people, God. We ask you to encourage their hearts, God. Send a raiment word to your people, God. Let this place be at night with your presence, God. I'm asking you to do it right now, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us come together collectively that we may give you a praise. I ask you to do it now. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So one scripture, because I understand we got a second service, and we're going to have a good time in the second service, amen. from what I understand. Amen. I think it's going to be a good amen. service. Amen. 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 I'm anticipating it. Amen. amen. So I'm going to probably get out of here early so we can get there. Is that okay? Amen. It says 4 o'clock, because a lot of people say I preach long, but I don't think I've been preaching long lately. Amen. So we're going to try to get this done. Give, I'm going to give you one scripture. And that's it. Psalms 51 and 5. Psalm 51 and 5. Who knows who wrote Psalm 51? Can somebody give me that background? Psalm 51 was written by David when Nathan the prophet came unto him after he had gone unto Bathsheba. Everybody know that story, right? Yeah. Glory to God. This is when he had another man killed because he wanted the woman. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <clears throat> Psalms 51 and 5. Behold, I was shaped in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. One more time. Behold, I was shaped, I was shaped in iniquity and in sin that my mother conceived me. Amen. If I can use one topic today, my topic today was, it would be, I was born in this. Amen. I was born Amen. in this. Let's try it one more time. I was born in this. I know y'all saying, how in the world is she going to take this scripture and put it with black um, African American because I know she said she was going to do something for black history every month, but y'all going to see it come together after a while. All right, just tell your neighbor, don't judge me. Don't I was born this way. I was born this way. Try it one more time. Say, don't judge me. Don't judge me. I was born this way. I was born in this. I was born in this. I was born in this. I was born. In other words, David was telling God. David was saying, Wait a minute, God. I know I messed up. I shouldn't have slept with this woman. I know I messed up. I shouldn't have killed her husband. I know I messed up, but I, I, I shouldn't have done the things that I did. But I was born like this. I was born in my flesh. I was born in my sin. My mother, when she conceived me, it was sin. So I had no other thoughts or my minority thought that said that it was something else. It was the way I was born. Now, I don't know about nobody else. Everybody wasn't born the same. But everybody was born in the flesh. We got some babies that was premature. We got some babies that was born bleak, breech. We got some babies that was born natural. We got some babies that was overdue. We got some babies that was underdue. We got some babies that was right on time. We got some babies that, that just wore their mama out, made their mother sick, didn't feel like going over there. But it's okay because we was all born. But then you got to look and say, what was I born into? Regardless of what 
what the family is, what was you born into? I was born in my flesh. I was born in the flesh. In the flesh, there's nothing good that dwells there. So I was born in this. So if I was to take that and I was to look at my life right now, I did not have a choice of where to be born. I did not wake up one morning and went to God and said, well, God, I don't want to be born on Chapel Street. I want to be born in New York. I don't want to be born in Chapel Street. I want to be born in Baltimore. I don't want to be born here. I want to be born there. There is not a choice of where you want to be born. I don't know about nobody else, but I believe if Jesus had the choice, do you think he would have chose a manger? So now that you're born, you got to deal with where you at. When I was born, my mother and my father had no, not a lot of money. I'm the youngest of 11, so my mother and father wasn't the richest people. You can be poor and not know it. So what ended up happening, instead of them going out and buying me a crib, they, they took everything out the bottom drawer, lined the bottom drawer with blankets and said, that's your bed. I was small enough to sleep in it. I wasn't taking up space, but they gave me a place. Watch this. It was not the best place, but it was mine. So how many of you can stand right here and say, I might not have the best place. I might not have the house on the hill. I might not have the mansion, but it is mine. I'm born in this.